The Solar System Our solar system is, just one specific planetary system. There are many planetary systems, like ours in the universe, with planets orbiting, a host star. Our solar system was formed about, 4.5 billion years ago. The solar system consists of the Sun, and everything that orbits, or travels around, the Sun. This includes the eight planets, and their moons, dwarf planets, countless asteroids, comets, and other small icy objects. The Sun, the heart of our solar system is a star, and it is a hot ball of glowing gases, made mostly of hydrogen and helium. The Sun is the largest object, in the solar system, and it contains more than 99% of, all the material in the solar system. The Sun is enormous, that it is 109 times wider than the Earth. Its massive gravity, holds the solar system together, keeping everything from the biggest planets, to the smallest particles of debris, in its orbit. The energy that the Sun gives off, is necessary to live on Earth. Living things on Earth, depend on this energy, in the form of light and heat. After the Sun, the largest objects, in the solar system are, the planets. In order from closest to the Sun, to the one that is farthest away, these planets are, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are closer to the Sun, and also smaller than Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, are visible for much of the year, to the naked eye from Earth, where we live. But Uranus and Neptune, are not visible without a telescope, from Earth. Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. Mercury is the smallest planet, in the solar system, and also the fastest planet, to go around the Sun. It only takes 88 days, to go around the Sun. Mercury is the second hottest planet. Mercury has a solid surface, that is covered with craters, like our Moon. It has a thin atmosphere, and it doesn't have any moons. Venus. The second planet from the Sun. Venus is very similar to Earth, in terms of size and structure, but there are radical differences, between the two planets. Venus is the hottest planet, in the solar system, with temperatures reaching 460 degrees Celsius. Venus is the brightest of all planets, and it is the second brightest object, in the night sky, after the moon. Venus is also known as the evening star, or morning star, because from Earth it can only be seen, at sunrise and sunset. Earth, the third planet from the Sun, and it is the planet, where we live. Earth is the fifth largest planet, of our solar system. Earth has one large natural satellite, the Moon. Earth is the only place, where life is known to currently exist. Earth is called a Goldilocks planet. Because, it's neither too hot, nor too cold, which is a key ingredient for life. In other words, it's just right for living things. The Earth orbits, 93 million miles away, from the Sun. Most of the Earth's surface, nearly 70%, is covered with water, due to which, the Earth is also called, the Blue Planet. Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun. Mars is the second smallest planet, in the solar system. Mars is known as the Red Planet, because the iron oxide chemicals, in its soil, a material like rust, gives the planet a reddish color. Mars is very cold, and dry, but water exists, in form of ice. Its surface is rocky, and red dust covers, most of its surface. Also it has a very thin atmosphere. Mars has the largest volcano named, Olympus Mons, and it is also the highest mountain, in the solar system. It rises three times higher, than Earth's highest mountain, Mount Everest. Mars has two moons. Mars is one of the most explored bodies, in our solar system. Jupiter, the fifth planet from the Sun. Jupiter is the largest planet, in our solar system, at nearly 11 times, the size of Earth, and 317 times its mass. Jupiter is called, a gas giant. This means, that it doesn't really have, a proper solid surface, as it is mainly made up of gases, and it is really big. As Jupiter is mostly made of gases, and liquids, a spacecraft would have nowhere, to land on it. The most famous feature, on the surface of Jupiter is, the Great Red Spot, which is actually a giant storm, bigger than Earth, that has been blowing, for hundreds of years. Jupiter has more than 60 moons, 
and some of them are the largest moons, in the solar system. Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun. Saturn is known for, its bright rings around it, that are made up of, billions of small chunks of ice, and dust. Saturn is the second largest planet, and it is also another gas giant, made mostly of hydrogen, and helium. We cannot land on Saturn, because it does not have a solid surface. It is made of gases, and liquids. Saturn is surrounded by, more than 60 moons. Saturn is the only planet, in our solar system, whose average density is less than water. It is hard to imagine, this gas giant could float, instead of sink, in a bathtub, if such a colossal thing existed. Uranus, the seventh planet from the Sun. Uranus is another gas giant, but it is much smaller than, Saturn and Jupiter. It is nearly four times larger, than Earth. We cannot land on Saturn, because it does not have a solid surface. It is made of gases and liquids. Uranus is the coldest planet, which is minus 220 degrees Celsius. This ice giant planet, is surrounded by faint rings, and 27 small moons. Uranus is a blue planet, because of methane gas, it appears blue. Uranus is known as, the sideways planet, because it rotates, on its side. Neptune, the eighth planet from the Sun. Neptune is another gas giant, and it also appears blue, but it is a more vivid, brighter blue than Uranus. Neptune is a big planet, but not very dense, because it is made of gases, and liquids. Neptune is also an ice giant. It is dark, cold, and whipped by supersonic winds. Neptune has a few faint rings, and 14 moons. Since it is the furthest planet, from the Sun, it takes 165 Earth years, for Neptune to go, once around the Sun. Which means, Neptune has the longest orbit of any planet, in the solar system. After Pluto was discovered in 1930, it was considered the ninth planet, in the solar system. But in 2006, scientists decided, that Pluto should be called, a dwarf planet. Because a bunch of other dwarf planets, were found in space near Pluto, and some of the objects, were nearly as big as Pluto, and some of them were even bigger than Pluto, and in very similar orbits. So it quickly became apparent, that Pluto wasn't really any different from them. And Pluto was declared a dwarf planet. 